Hello and welcome to UND Sports Preview Show. Today we have the cross country team with us. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. Thanks for Probably. having us. Yeah, so I have a couple questions for both of you. Um, first, Coach, heading into your second season with the team, how did last season go? It went well. Uh, we had some transition and change, but it went pretty smoothly. No big hiccups. Um, overall, a lot of success, progress, very young team. Uh, still a young team this year, but a lot to build from. Now, what were you able to learn from last year that you're going to bring into this year? Communication. Uh, as much as you think you've got everything mapped out in your head perfectly, it sounds great, but when you start getting the feedback of questions constantly from the athletes, you learn that there's probably a lot of details you left out, whether it's explaining practice, logistics of where we're going. So it makes it much easier this year to plan preparation-wise for all those aspects. Now, you mentioned communication, but what else do you think it's going to take for year two to be successful for you? For the team, it's just more of buying in, believing in the culture themselves and each other. And we've already seen it thus far, I'd say, from the summer preparation. We've started a week earlier in our training this year compared to last year as we had a late start with everything going on. And the dedication that the athletes have put in over the summer has already shown evident at this point before we've even had a meet or a race so far. Now, relatively, you, you know, the cross-country team isn't necessarily a well-known sport on campus. What do you think you would want people to know about your team or cross-country in general here at the university? Excellent question. <laughs> we know we're kind of the lost people out there, athletically speaking. Nobody really sees us practicing as we go off campus quite often. People think cross-country running is very just individual-based. It's probably one of the most team-based sports out there, whether it's practice, working as a unit and a team to push through. Um, quite a bit more strategy than everyone would think. It's not just purely getting from point A to point B as fast mm -hmm. as you can. It is in a nutshell, but there's a lot more critical thinking strategy that's involved in that process. Now this question is for both you, Casey, and you, Coach Robinson. What are some goals that you guys have for the team and for you individually? Well, for the team, we want to do obviously better than we did last year. Uh, improve our finish from conference and regionals and just continue to build from there and set the foundation for the years to come. Everything Casey said is <laughs> spot on. We're looking to improve, so hopefully when we get to the important meets at the end of the year conference, we're looking to be at least top five, if not top four in the conference, men and women overall. Regionally, at least top 15, but if things go right, give ourselves a chance to at least crack, crack into that top 10, start building momentum to the future to where we have a chance to make it to the national stage as well. Now, as a runner, do you have any specific times that you want to meet this year, or do you have more of a quantifiable goal for yourself to succeed? Well, every race you go in, you want to set a personal best. That's the thing. You always want to come in and set a personal best. Um, for me personally, uh, I'm looking to go at least under 26.30 for the 8K and dip, a, dip below 33.30 in the 10K, and if I can get under 33, that'd be great. Um, so basically that's it. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people say that running, you know, a lot of the cross country and track team's motto is like, our sport is your sports punishment. Yes. How do you as a runner find determination and the drive to keep going even if you feel like on days you don't really want to? Well, last year, uh, before conference I got hurt, I got injured, and that was a real blow. It was kind of a, just a stupid mistake on my part. So I use that as my motivation this year to just keep pushing hard because I know how disappointed I was at the end of the season last year and I don't want that to happen again. I want to make this a good year. So that's what drives me right now and uh, just getting to be the best that I can be. Now coach, you mentioned having a young team. Mm -hmm. How has that either helped or hurt you from last year that you're going to bring into this year? Sure. Last year it was kind of new for everybody, not just myself and the team, so it was kind of learning together for the most part. This year we've got some veterans coming back with Casey and some of the other upperclassmen, but we only have five combined seniors total on the entire team, men's and women's, put together. So we're a very young team overall, roughly 10 new faces to the program, so a lot of youth in general. They're bringing in excitement, um, everything's fresh to them. They have the ability and eagerness to learn and impact, and they're sharing that enthusiasm with the rest of the team. And I'd say it's already been contagious, not only from what the remaining runners, returning runners from last year have, but the young athletes bringing in their enthusiasm has only brought up the overall morale for the entire team this year. 
Now, you're both the coach for the men's and the women's cross-country teams, correct? Correct. So what is it like for you trying to balance, you know, the men and the women? Do they do the same exact workouts every day? Do you try to, you know, mix sure. it up, or how do you do that? I find treat them the same. Everybody's human, so the only thing that may be different are the times, the quantity, and the distance, but relatively speaking, the idea behind the workout or the volume of what we're trying to do every day. We go through the same drills, same warm-up. Uh, the race distances are different per gender. The ladies race 5,000, 6,000 meters in the season. The gentlemen race 8,000 and 10,000 meters during the regular season. So that's the only thing that's different, where the volume, the men have to be used to a little bit longer duration. But outside of that, everything is exactly the same. Now, when you're putting workouts together, how do you, you know, decide what's going to be a workout, or how do you find workouts to implement to your teams? A lot of times, it's a three big things we focus on. Um, we have one workout that's going to be shorter distances, typically with faster paces than what they would race at to help enhance their speed. We have one more race speed overall, um, kind of the exact volume of what we'd be racing, so that 8,000 to 10,000 meter distance for the men, 5,000 to 6,000 meter distance for ladies, and then a long run. So they're used to the distance and building stamina for a little bit of everything, hitting every aspect. And we just balance those out throughout the week to make sure everybody's getting everything they need. Okay, well, I want to thank you both for coming and joining us today for our sports preview. That's all we have for today for our UND Sports Preview. Today we have the cross-country team. Stay tuned.